welcome back to the DNA medical series in today's video we'll be looking on our fruits or foods actually changing the taste of your vagina or your semen so is it pineapple for the P or pineapple for the D today we're going to look on all the research I know a lot of focus has taken place on the vagina and the changes but today we're going to look on both the vagina and the semen so stay tuned for that so first we're going to look on how the body works so the way the body works in its simplest form is that whatever we put into our body comes out or sometimes gets used up so based on this it is not a far-fetched thing to say that partners could actually taste something different based on what is eaten so essentially what we're saying is that you are what you eat and whatever you consume it may be excreted through feces urine saliva sweat glands which is common and also your private part secretions to a lesser extent so for example asparagus is used a lot in cooking and if you consume too much of it it can actually have a negative impact on your urine odor so you can have a foul smelling urine so it is possible for it to also have effect on your vaginal fluid and also your semen so other examples like garlic rich meal you know garlic can also affect your breath it can seep through your skin the next day breast milk sometimes are altered by the food we eat if you consume too much alcohol this can affect the composition so it is possible for secretions to be affected in a large extent by what we eat also certain drugs you're on may even change the composition of your urine so your urine might have different colors for fruits and vegetables it has shown favorable impacts on the vagina having a milder odor for some people it is also reported that it produces a sweet smell right and also changes the taste of the lady part and this is because there is a change in the composition of bacteria in our gut skin and in the vagina and this may change the smell or taste according to dr wilson williams some strong herbs and spices can also result in a strong odor so pepper and curry in particular can cause a change and similar to how garlic and onions can affect your breath it can actually affect down there so you may want to be careful and alter your diet if you're planning to do those stuff so urban legend has it that foods like pineapple makes your secretions taste good i'm sure you've heard this before while stuff like stinky cheese and other junk may make it taste bad or awful so there were actual experiments that were done on couples and they were asked to go on particular diet and write up their observation of how the secretions of their par partners tasted so i'm just going to document some of the main findings from the research it was said that when their partners consume like alcohol or junk food then the secretions will taste bad or just awful not pleasing but when they would consume healthier foods particularly fruits and vegetables and juices such as pineapple juices apple juices then there will be a more favorable a more sweeter taste to the genitals and or secretions the changes observed were seen sooner in females than in males and this is because in males the semen or the sperm actually takes 60 to 72 days on average to be produced so what you're ejaculating now essentially was made two to three months before and so when you're consuming this changing diet it would take a time in male for it to be manifested in the semen and so that's why a lot of times females will say okay they eat pineapple there's a change sooner it will be noticeable but for men it would have to be something consistent for it to be evident as with all research there are going to be arguments for and again so dr queen said that semen is known for having a bitter flavor and that what the partner was likely noticing was the absence of this bitter flavor and not necessarily a sweeter flavor however arguments are saying that this is not true and it is actually a sweeter flavor that is tasted by the partners so in essence there are research out there 
there is no large scale study that is done but there are actually more small scale studies and there's nothing that is peer reviewed but what the smaller scale studies are saying is that this is indeed true that's it for this video see you in the next one goodbye